Hello and welcome again to investingsuccess.ca and another of our short video clips in which we take a look at human emotion, astrology, and the financial markets. Back in 1946, there was an astrologer mathematician, uh, and I do believe that his proper Christian name was Garth Allen. However, he didn't use that name. He actually went by an alias or a pen name, and he called himself Donald Bradley. And Mr. Bradley at that time developed a very elegant mathematical model in which he took a look on a daily basis um, at the aspects being made between transiting planets. And he assigned a mathematical weighting to his observations. So for example, let's suppose you had two planets that were, uh, let's say, 15 degrees apart, and he would then assign a mathematical weighting which would be very low. As those planets came together uh, and approached a zero degree conjunction, that mathematical weighting would increase, and then after they had made that zero degree conjunction and began to separate, the mathematical weighting would decrease. And he applied a sine or a cosine function uh, to give that variable weighting. Um, the, the Bradley model uh, was extraordinarily accurate in 1946, and it actually mirrored the performance of the Dow during that year. And since then, many people have attempted to play with the Bradley model, and they have come away very disappointed. Uh, they've made observations uh, to the effect that, well, the, the Bradley model showed uh, ever-increasing values during the course of the year, but yet the markets didn't follow suit. Uh, and people have tried to play with the Bradley model and, and apply all sorts of uh, exotic mathematics to, uh, to tweak it and massage it. Rubbish. Every bit of it. What you have to do if you're using the Bradley model is simply take a look at what I call the inflection points. That is, look at the output of the Bradley model for a particular period of time, Look at those instances where the slope goes from being positive to negative, or negative to positive. Look also for those um, occurrences where the slope um, might be positive, but all of a sudden it takes on a, a higher degree of, of, um, of tenor and it becomes even more positive, or times when the slope is negative and becomes even more negative. Those inflection points correlate very, very, very well to inflection points on the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500. What you're looking at on your screen in front of you is the output of the Bradley model for Q1 of 2014. And you can see that on, on this uh, chart, I have marked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 inflection points where the slope has changed or has changed tenor. Now, you take a look at a daily chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average futures, and you apply those Bradley inflection points using the red arrows. What do you see? Notice the correlation. Notice how accurate this is. From this, I can only conclude that that Bradley was onto something in 1946. Our emotions as traders and investors are affected by the events of the cosmos. I don't know how else to put it. And this is the stuff that Louise McWhorter, 10 years prior to Bradley, had been hinting at. Our emotions are fragile. They are affected by events in the cosmos around us. And so, uh, here we are in the month of April. We're having a correction on the Dow. We've done some technical damage. And you can see that um, it was all predicated by this inflection on the Bradley model. Now, um, over the next couple days, uh, April 14th, 15th, there is another subtle inflection on the slope of the Bradley model, and so I'm actually not necessarily looking for the Dow to continue its uh, violent sell-off. I'm actually looking for uh, some sort of a change here. The markets will tell you uh, what, what that change is going to be. Um, so just be aware that there's something coming here in the next couple days which will uh, give us some valuable hints as to uh, what the next two weeks are going to hold. And this is the stuff that I talk about uh, in my Astrology e-alert to my subscribers. And I swear by this Bradley model, it is as accurate today as it was in 1946. And I do encourage you to uh, take a look at my e-alert service and start to follow along with me as I use this Bradley model. So as always, you can find me at uh, www.investingsuccess.ca. My blog posts are at astrologicaltrading.wordpress.com. You can find me on LinkedIn at my discussion group. You can find me on Twitter. I'm out there. So please uh, make it a point to, uh, to track me down and start to follow my stuff. Have a great day, everyone, and thank you for listening to this brief video installment. Take care.